We are back with another bronze bingo. This one is a long Havana game. I don't, this is a very long Havana game. So I'm very curious to see how it goes. We have an updated bingo card here. Basically, it's a lot of Brig, a lot of Kiriko, a lot of Ana. I, I'm just very curious to see how this is going to be because this is going to be quite the game. Here's the bingo card that we have for this week. Um, I don't know what to expect. I'm just, I'm just ready for this one. Let's see. All right, let's look at the team comps we got here. I, okay, so first of all, just to talk about Havana. So just to talk about Havana for a second. Here's the thing about Havana. Havana is a very, very, very good double sniper map, right? It just plays so far on first and third point that like snipers can dominate, but not quite so much in this game right now. So we'll see how this one goes. We have Bastion versus Bastion. Five, Everybody's in spawn here. All right, here we go. It's time. So just to start right away, I love that you have like this Reinhardt playstyle as Brig. Right from the get-go, you're like, you know what? We may only have one tank in Overwatch 2 right now, but you know what? I will protect you, team. Stay behind my shield. I got this. And you walked right out. You held that shield up the whole time. You're protecting your team, as we like to say. Right away, we already have uh, five all on cart. One thing about this map is taking off angles on this map can be really good. So having five on cart, obviously in most maps, maximum up to three. I think right away, I'm gonna go with this. I know it's right at the beginning of the spawn, but take a map patrol early. We're gonna go with this one. Plus, you know, it's, it's the bingo card. We gotta get a couple things on the bingo card, all right? Um, this one would be, wait, did I even put this one? Everyone on the objective. I have that one here because why not? Everyone on the objective. We continue on, let's go. It's so interesting to see how this map is started. Because like, it's Bastion versus Bastion I never see on this map. The Reaper on cart, flanking the... I don't... What the... Just looking at these hero pools already, I'm just like, what? Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Drop your shield. You don't need to have your shield up here. Drop your shield. All right, perfect. Yeah, you don't need to hold your shield up right there because it doesn't block anything anyway. And then your shield obviously will regen. I know Brig regens your, sh your shield early, but you can, you can drop your shield there. If you, want, if you want to know if that's a good play or a bad play going for the Reaper there, I, I'm actually, that's probably fine. I think that that Reaper actually just hit one extra shot there. You're in your spawn right now. Getting in a limb there pretty early on for your team would be huge. I don't mind that play. Obviously, it didn't go in your favor. And you had a Moria with you, so I don't know what happened there. Um, like, that's, that's probably fine. And yeah, if you whip shot there, you probably get the limb too. Um, but that's, that's fine. Sorry, I just, I just wanted to point that out on that. So far, I, I have, I'm already watching Havana be played here right now, and I am, this is not what I'm used to seeing. I mean, I don't even, Havana plays very, very different when I play Havana, because like, obviously it's like a lot of double sniper, right? And if you play close range, you either play really close to the doors, or you play like at corners and stuff. This is just a, a brawl on the spawn. Is that Reaper gonna ult? I'm now curious. Nope, okay, good pick. Wait, did that more ult just get, wait, did that more ult just get, oh no! Wait, did it get, did it get? Oh no! Here it goes! Time for the huge Moira ult! I'm pretty sure that's on the bingo card. I'm pretty sure I put it on here. I've tried, ultimate countered. Right here. Right here. Ultimate countered. Also, I do have a question mark one here. I'm pretty sure, let me just double check. I do, okay. We'll edit that one in a little bit. I won't let you know which one that is yet, but that's a good one. Back to the brig. The brig is the side of that pushing cart is the ultimate play here. Now we have an ult being popped. Will everybody else pop their ultimate? Because there's five ults on the first team. Or on, so now will everybody start popping their ults? Nope. Brig gets a huge limb. Ooh, okay, there we go. I hear the Reaper behind, I'm pretty sure. Does Reaper ult this? There's no way Reaper ults that. No, Reaper's just flanking behind. Oh wait, you're right. That was zero limbs with an L too. You're right. Let me let me let me go mark that off. Good call. See? Chat's chat's figuring those one out. Actually, chat, I'm just gonna tell you which one this question mark one is because 
This one's just basically, there's a hero on one of the teams. That's what the question mark is. That's my hint. And now we're just going to guess a bunch of heroes. It's just it's just one of, one of the heroes I had on the team. And, and like, we see this hero a lot. My hint is, we see this hero a lot in um, a lot of these bronze bingos. And this one should be... I... Chat's 50-50. I say a lot, and chat's going with Bastion and, and Arissa. Uh, it's Moira. Yeah, I had to go with Moira on that one. We see Moira in so many of these games, you know? Hey, hey. Now, is, is okay, is the one. diva just... There is no way. There is no way that this diva was just spinning in circles, holding left click, okay? Which is fine, right? But I cannot believe... Wait a second. Watch. I can't believe! Listen, chat, we have learned the strat. Listen, the accuracy may not show up on the leaderboard, okay? The accuracy may not show up on the leaderboard, but you got the limb. Nice play. Oh, I love that. Let's go. Hey, listen, it worked. You know what I love about this, chat? We have the Moira who's just going in DPS right here, 1v5 by themselves, okay? Moira goes in by themselves here, 1v5. All right? Well, technically, yeah, I mean, going in. We have the Brig on card who's just like, I'm pushing the cart and that's it. Everybody else in this team is committed to pushing the cart. Meanwhile, this Moira just goes in. You love to see it. It's great. And they get out. Of course, of course they get out. Brig ult time. It's time for the Brig ult. Everybody's gonna hit their buttons. Here we go, it's time. You can tell. Come on, everybody. Everybody use your ults. We still need Reaper ult, please. All right, there's Diva ult. We need a Reaper ult, please. Just to, just to complete the everybody use their ult. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Classic. 60 seconds. <laughs> Called it. Telling you. Every time, the only person who did it ult was Bastion. It happens so much in a lot of these games where, like, once one, one person hits their game. ultimate, everybody hits their, hits their ultimate at that point. Let's go edit some of the bingo card here before we uh, continue on so we don't fall behind on that. First of all, one, we do have a, another question mark already there. Definitely had a DPS support. Now, I'll let chat guess the 1v5 right now, so that way we, because we have a lot of this VOD here. Here's my hint for this 1v, oh. I do that sometimes. Chat, what do you think this question mark is? I, I wonder what this question mark is, chat. Does anybody have any ideas? Wow, chat guessed 1v5, what a treat. Wow, how did you guess, chat? I can't believe you managed to guess that one. Oh, all the ultimates too? Oh yeah, everybody hits their ults, good call. Wow, we got a lot there. I've noticed that we're we're starting to see a lot more of the consistency of getting a lot in the bingo card. All right, back to the brig. Very much playing that Reinhardt play style, which it's fine. Shield gets back pretty quickly, I have a more shield now. Reaper's still high ground. Bastion ults in. Okay, now the Reaper went in, and I think what... Oh, Reaper got in the limb, but I'm watching the Brig try to face tank a Bastion. Wait, how do you win this? Wait, 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 how do you... No one got to the... <laughs> I was looking at the kill feed, and I'm like, how do you win this? How do you win this? You know what happens? Guess what? The classic. The classic. Everybody kept backing up. That was it. Reaper did not care. Reaper was flanking. Anna's running away and Bastion's just going backwards. Good job by the Diva. Diva making some plays here. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Wait, what happened? Wait, what did I miss? Wait, what did I miss? Was there a Moira or? Wait, 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 where? Where was it? I love how small that orb was. Watch this orb. Bastion was like, hello, I made a friend. Come with me. I love that. That's awesome. 
See what I mean? You're like, why is the brick front line? And there's a Lucio on the other team, 1v1 of the soldier at the cart, and there's a Reaper over here. Everybody's front line. I don't even know if there's a back line or a front line in this game so far. Brick is very committed to pushing this cart. Is there a soldier getting chased by an Ana? And then flanking the Ana? Wait, wait, wait. I have to. Sorry, I have to watch this again. Okay, was there a soldier getting flanked by an Ana while running away from the Ana and then flank the Ana? I have to watch the outside of the map here. I think that's what I just saw. Yeah, Ana goes to the sleep, misses the sleep. Soldier runs away from the Ana, goes in a circle, and then is gonna flank. Okay, I was wondering what happened there. And Mortar Orb got on the limb again. Huge Mortar Elf! Everybody has their elves again, it's time! Yep, there we go, I don't know what's happening. There's a, there's a Bastion on the cart, there's, oh, these are some team fights. There's a Reaper still on cart, Reaper is always, okay. Does Reaper have ult? No, I don't. You didn't think I would let pay. I am very happy you made that play. Just to add on to this again, because I still see it happening sometimes. Great job bashing out of the ultimate and not trying to block her with your shield. For anybody who doesn't know, they recently changed a couple patches ago where if you use Orisa ultimate and you use your shield, the shield does not block it. So good job bashing out of it rather than just holding your shield up to it. Also, okay, I think we're now a flank support. Yep, yep. Oh. So chat. For anybody who's seen the Bastion video, or not the Bastion video, the the Winston video we did where we, we looked at the Bastion ultimate, um, we talked about... Look where they're at. First of all, good ultimate. Why? Because they have to back away. Your next ult goes here. But a lot of Bastions, what they do, they just stack it. They make, they make like, a, like a Venn diagram. Oh, wow, how are we gonna get out of that? Diva ate the ultimate. It just, it, it happens every time. You stack them. Make the Venn diagram and there you go. Here, take this. You wanna like, there's more range to that. Long team fight, this has been going on for a while. You know what? We're gonna mark off long team fight because I'm pretty sure it's been a long team fight since first point essentially. Here we go. We're marking that one off. Why? Because every team fight's been a long team fight. Maybe one day we can do a timer where we track what is considered the longest type of team fights. We're gonna go with that, why not? I mean, it... let's continue on. How do you proc inspire? Damage. Left clicking like people right now, so that that, that proc inspire. That proc inspire. This is proc and inspire the whole time you're doing damage. If you flail somebody, oh, went right through him. You blocked the. I don't even. No one's died a diva all now. We need that for the diva pack. Shield Bash doesn't proc Inspire, no. Flail damage, not Shield Bash. Plus it does now, I don't think it does, right? I thought they changed it. Okay, Shield Bash does cause, does do that, okay. I was, that's why initially we said it did that, and then they were like, no it doesn't, I'm like, okay, wait a second. Yeah, it does, okay. Yeah, yeah. In, in Overwatch 1, I got rid of it for a while. What in the Tony Hawk did I just watch here? <laughs> oh, that was a sick move! You went, you went flying off that ride. What the? Oh, you said that was a sick kickflip? Yeah, exactly. What the? Swaven, hello. Bastion got in the limb. A lot of pushing card. I, I, I've noticed that. You know what, though? We might look at some of the play style of this brig. You know what I'm happy about? At least the cart is pushing. How often do you get into a game where nobody pushes the cart? We have something on the bingo card that says nobody pushes the cart. So far, this brig is committed to the idea that this cart... This is where brig is. This is where brig stays. Brig gets aggressive. But you know what? If you want to get that cart, you want to prevent that cart from being pushed... You have to deal with the brig first. All right. Luck. All right, so we're going to talk about this sequence of events for a second. All right. I, I, I don't mind. I'm just going to talk about this initially. I don't mind 
um, the the flail here. I will say, bash goes a lot further now, and there's no Junkrat trap, so in theory, you could bash them and then hit them with the flail as a combo and do a bunch of damage. That's the first step. But I love that you flail them, right? Then you bash. The Junkrat jumps into the air. Okay? Tries to survive something and goes off the map. That wasn't a, that that does count as falling off the map, by the way, because it does say it can't be a boop. The boop didn't cause that, by the way. I want to point this out. It counts it because that was the last damage done to them, to the junk rat. But that actually counts as just falling off the map. Because watch the junk rat's point of view. I'll show you what I mean. Like, watch this. Oh, it doesn't matter with the kill feed at that point. Trust me, the kill feed does that. That's so you get the limbs after that. Watch the junk rat. Watch. Watch. Ready? Did you see that? That was the boop. You tell me. Is Junkrat going off the map off of this boop? You ready? I'll show you why. Is Junkrat going off the map on this boop? Ready? Here's the boop. This is what the kill feed shows. Ready? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What caused the Junkrat to go off the map was their own mind. Their own mind. All right, that, we're going to go with that one. That counts as falling off the, the map, in my left. opinion. We're going to go with that one. Environmental limb. There we go. How's it going, man? Let's continue on. That was great. Is the diva letting the cart push them? I, you know what? I respect it. That card's getting pushed. The demon doesn't even have to... Oh, what a treat. I'm just watching from this point of view. Here's all the ultimates. Here we go. You ready? Ready for a long team fight? Everybody's popping their ults. Big slam from Ryan. That's a big shatter. Gets one, gets two. Uh, soldier's on the point. Ana's in a 1v1 now. Ash is running at them. Now Ryan's in their spawn. Oh, no. Is it the diva pact? Nope. <laughs> Good play. Wait, is that soldier still alive over here? See, everybody's 1v1 it. Wait, how wait, how do they win this? Moira orb with the random limb again? Alright, back to the break. Huge bash! Nice! There's a May. There's a diva on point. I You're flanking as a support at this point. I mean, like, you're a flank support at this point. I, I don't even... Time for an owl. Huge! Nice Let's go. Good play there. Ooh! Wait a second. Popping off there. Now we see how you win the point. Bastion gets a couple. What? A half of Overwatch we've watched, chat, and we've only watched 10 minutes. What What a half. Let me skip ahead a little bit here. What do we got here? Um, Flank support. Oh, yeah, flank support. We already have flank support, right? We have flank support? Oh, flank and support. There we go. You're right. We're already at flank and support. Outside of that, let me just double check. We don't have anything else here. I wouldn't call that a really good Reaper ult. It's time. So just so people know, especially like on D.Va, that range right there does not... We have a Widow? All right, now we need to see the grapple from Widow. We see any grapples. You, that range doesn't do as much damage. Like, is it okay to do that sometimes, especially when you need like a really close ult? Yes, but like, I wouldn't recommend that. Wait. All right, well, that was just that. If you're playing Brick here, I recommend playing around here. It allows you to get away and then, and then back up there, so. Running back to the point. Everybody's already taken a team fight. Absolute oh, classic. <laughs> Ooh, we have an Ana now. Chat. Off of Brig onto Ana. Here we go. So one thing I want to talk about for a second here. When you're backing away, I want to just rec like recommend this for like when you're disengaging out of a team fight and you see somebody but you don't have your teammates there, one thing you really want to do is try to get to a good spot so this doesn't happen. Now they've recently added something on Havana. So let's say you're right here. 
Rather than sit in the middle, back up. At the very worst, you can go right here. They added this spot in Overwatch 2. And you can hide right here, or you can go all the way up and rotate up. Just for anybody who's backing up on second point, that's a really good rotation you can do. Although apparently, there might be changes to this coming because they talked about it in like a blog post. So curious to see what happens. But yeah, stay in there is what happened. Is why they got you there. So that's a good recommendation on that. Just back away. All right, Moira has ult. It's Moira all time. We know what's coming. There it is. I didn't even have the. To... Oh, here we go. That team's that team's done for. Hey, that's a that is a Moira ult. That is that is a Moira ult we watched. All right. Wait, Moira's healing. What is this? Wait, is it Diva? Oh, is it Diva all time? Is it Diva all time? Yep, that's the ball. All right, go back to the Ana now. Who is in a 1v1? What is happening? The last thing I expected to do was go back to the Ana and see they're getting 1v1 by a Bap and a, well, 1v2 by a Bap and a Sombra. I don't even know what's going on. Well, that's the second point. And see what happens. Now holding close again, which on this map, if you have the spawns, you can hold close here to buy time. Diva pack is when you get in the limb with the Diva ult when nobody should die to the ult, essentially. Position in Ana, like, that position for you, playing right here is fine, but play around on the backside of this, like, statue area. Oh, you're going for that bath. You are. You are committed to that bath. Oh, well, that's a wall. That's a, oh, there comes Moira, wait. You got the limb on Sombra. Back to the Moira, this Moira's gonna, oh. Woo! The Diva goes in. These team fights are like something. Like I said, such long team fights. Is it nano time? Don't nano. Do not nano. Save your nano. I like how you're like, yeah. You know what, baby diva? You can go back to spawn. I'm just gonna DPS. Ooh, we got the venom mine. That's huge. No, oh, that's. Here we go again. Are you gonna nano the? If you nano the Moira, it's going on the card. Nope. Wait. Nice. Nano? That's a window. Don't take the window. Hide behind him. Play an angle. Good sleep, but play an angle. Play an angle. Otherwise, you're gonna be in a spot to get killed here. Like right here. Yeah, yeah. Here's a good position. This is a. We need to see if the diva patch was fulfilled, chat. Was it fulfilled? Could Sigma have survived here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 100%. You want, okay chat. What happened to the Sigma here? Cause I saw what happened. So Sigma ulted. Do you notice anything? So when you Sigma ult, you, you, if you're not using your shield like for cover, you want to bring your shield back. What happened? They left the shield here. So watch what the Sigma did. I, I think they went to go use their shield here with the Diva ult. Watch, they're going to look at it and try to shield. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You can see it, they recalled the shield, trying to block the out. That's exactly what happened. So you can see them recall the shield. That, that is the Diva Pact. That's what happened, they just forgot about their shield. That is literally what happened. All right, let's go in to check that one off. Diva Pact. All right. This position and you don't want to. So just to talk about this, this map from a sight lines point of view, if you try to play up here and play aggressive, it, like this is such a widow dominant map. Now listen, maybe if they don't have a widow, you can get a little bit more aggressive like that. But when they have a widow, like look at the point of view the widow's gonna have on you. I just, I'm just, I'm just pointing this out here. Remember how I've talked about Remember how I've talked about how like, sometimes some of the best ways you can review your position is by watching from the other point of view of the person who gets you? That's how you can see what is good and bad position. And that's why I'm like, you wanna play the sight lines back. You don't have to push past the choke on Havana. Sorry, I said, I had to point that out. Sorry, we're back, we're back on the Ana now. Oh no, we gotta go to the Diva, see if they're holding the card down. Nice job delaying the cart though. On to Kiriko. It's Kiriko time. You have cleanse, so you can use cleanse here. You can use cleanse, so you don't have to worry about it in a bit. Interesting. 
Confused with light. You got this? Oh. Uh. You know what? That was. That was. That, 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 that happened. Because it happened earlier, too. All right? That's got to be no one on the objective. So my vision of no one on the objective is the attacking team not pushing the cart. I, that's just kind of how I have it as. Because I, I could do that, like, in general. I mean, you know what? You're right, though, chat. Listen. No one on the objective. We'll count that because... It, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? We're going with it. I agree. No one's on the objective. Like, let's just do it. You're right. No one's on the objective. All right, here we go. Wait. Is someone going Ramatra? Okay, it, I see a Ramatra, but they have to walk out of the spawn doors. Maybe they accidentally picked Ramatra and are going D.Va again. You are safe with me. That counts for me. That counts for me. We got Ramatra. We got Ramatra. Let's go. All right, back to Brick Mercy now. Okay, this is an interesting comp. Mercy Brick can work. I mean, so far, back to pushing the cart. A bit more of an off angle now, as we've seen. Oh, no, that's just, that's a lot of it. Don't, oh, no, the bash! Oh, back up, back up. This is fine. You can play here if you need to. Somebody went to your left, though. Somebody went to your left. I don't know who it was, but they're flanking. Someone's flanking. I don't know. Wait, oh, no, the cart's bash. Wait, did I miss the TP there? What was the TP? Wait, what was the TP? Is that a flank in Mercy? No, it's not. I think it's glitched right now on the, on the screen. I'll look after. Oh, right when the Ramat died. Oh, okay, okay. I missed that one. You're always looking for your teammates here. I think, I think sometimes you end up on the front line a bit too much. You're not able to see where you can, like, add that, like, value. But at the same time, you're making good plays here, so. What I mean by value is, like, if your teammate's low behind you and you don't know they're low, then when you're a little bit further behind, not necessarily all the way in the back, but you can see that, you, it's easier to get the, uh, the, the heal pack on and you can still be aggressive because your bash goes through. Is there sim turrets on the side of the cart? There is. Nobody was killing those. Oh no! There comes the elf! Bring out time! Bring out time! No, wait. Wait a second. I was just gonna say, this is perfect. You saw the kill feed. You saw that you had numbers. You didn't have to bring out anymore. I was like, that was going to be great. And then you waited, and then three people died on their team, and you went, you know what? It's Brigal time. Let's go. Let's do it. No, it's it's Brigal time. It, it was actually, I, I saw that, and I was like, damn, that was good. That was good. That's a sim. Oh, wall. I don't. Nice bash. Nice play? I don't know what's happening. I, I just don't. But you got first point, that's what counts. This team fight is still going, basically. What amazes me about the setup right now, by the way, chat, is look to the left here. We have a Sigma and a Lucio by themselves. We have an Ash over here by themselves, and then we have a Sim who did a two-foot teleporter. So this, I don't know what's going to happen here. This is going to be an interesting team fight because everybody's everywhere. I don't think the Brig knows the Sigma's behind yet. Yeah, I was going to say. The Sigma got in the limb. The Bastion's right there. Good armor pack. Uh-oh. You bash right into that. That's not going to be good. You survive it, though. Nice heal. Remember, the Sigma is still behind you. Point that out. Huge play, though. There's a sim turret nobody's killing. Oh, you try to bash it? It's not. Oh, no. It took forever. Nobody was killing that. Gun on the limb. Let's go. Hey. Here we go. Also, I realize we do have something on the bingo card. That might have happened a little bit earlier, but it also has happened recently. The last question mark is there. All right. We'll look back at that one after, all right? 
Wait, the Sigma's still alive? Wait, what the? Who wins? Who wins? Nice! Good job! But a jump shatter when you jump and shatter at the same time. Wait, watch out! Bastion died in their spawn, they windowed? Brig is holding the cart, you know this Brig ain't leaving the cart. Wait! Brig's popping up, wait, Brig killed the bath? Stay on the cart! Nice, there's the random sim wall at the end of a team fight! Brig ult, you can Brig ult this, now Brig ult, with the bar, Brig ult! There you go, nice, good ult, good ult, this is sustain your fight, it's okay to trade that ultimate. There we go, Bob's dead! Sigma's somehow back in spawn again. Nice job. Let's go. Good job, is what we like to see. Everybody's on the cart. Nobody's leaving this cart. Nobody wants to see nine in the cart. But Sigma, you know what's probably gonna happen? My guess right now is Sigma is gonna ult and get him off the cart, or they're gonna win this team fight. Okay, chat, what are the chances this Bastion ult is spread so it doesn't like stack on everybody? What are the chances? Well, no, no, no bash ult happening. Wait, huge beat. Good trains here. Just keep your wrists up. Play on the side of the cart. Keep your wrists up. Don't. You're fine. Nice. Good job. Play behind the cart. You don't have to be too aggressive. Here it is. Yep, and there we go. Round three. Saw that coming. Saw that coming. Great ult by the Sigma. All right, so just to go back to the bingo card for one second so people know what we're talking about here on the question mark one. The question mark one, I'll give you a second to guess this one. What do you think it was? What do you think it was? Yeah, somebody in the chat got it correct. Not killing the turrets. I, there was a few times where the Sim turrets just kind of sat there. I ended up getting a limb for them. That's what it was. Not killing the turrets. Did I miss anything else in this? There was no emotes after huge play. We're talking about the wave. That didn't count. Anything else we're missing here, chat, you think? No one's really played Mystery Heroes yet, which is like switching heroes a ton. If they switch heroes like four times in a row, usually that's when we go with Mystery Heroes. All right, let's go back. It's time. It's been an interesting game. This widow hex up their grapple. That's a venom mine, that's for sure. I love this widow's patience. As I say that, the widow runs back to spawn. The widow runs back to spawn and switches. What a treat. Then they got the ash. Oh, Brig didn't see the Lucio. So far, this is okay of a setup. I, like I said, you can play around the corner to the right side, it'll be a little bit better, but. In those situations, you probably want to heal your. Sh you actually want to hold your shield up because if you're looking at the ash, that Ramatra just run with the back line. That Ramatra did not care one bit. That was one of those. Okay, we have to make a play here. Brig is now playing the front line on the cart. That was a good bash null. That was a good bash null. You can see it was all over the place. Uh oh, that was not. We didn't see that. Does Mercy get the res in the middle of the team? We're about to find out. This doesn't count, by the way. This is not in the middle of the team. Nice res! No one saw that 1v1. We didn't see that. No one saw that. Here we go. What in the world was any of that? Okay, everybody use their ults. Everybody use their ults. Soldier 76 has their ult. Will this be the dub? 
So, one thing I want to talk about very quickly is try not to, like, peek windows like that and just, like, not have your shield up and just look at them. Because then you can, they can literally get you right there, like, easily. Here we go! You have the one ultimate! Wait, there's a Reaper ult! Wait! Nice pick! You're going to their back line. You're just running in. Wait a second. You just ran in. You didn't care. Oh, that's that's the game. Oh. Well, there we go, chat. That was an interesting game. I don't really know what to say about that one. That was a that was a that was just like it felt like there was never really a team fight. It was just like 21v1s happening at all times. Brig was 1v1 in. Diva didn't stop shooting the whole time on the cart. They just held left click the whole time. At one point, Diva let the cart push them. That was the best part. Now, we're going to look back at the bingo card and make sure we didn't miss anything here. We didn't get a bingo, but we had a lot on this bingo card. I didn't see your mirror matchup. Mirror matchup is the same team comp, okay? Emote after a huge play didn't happen. Widow duel didn't see that. Mercy revives in the middle of the other team. We didn't see that. No fire mercy, no wrecking ball, no jump shatter. Mystery heroes is when someone switches heroes like four times pretty quickly, like after each spawn. Didn't see that. No nano support. Um, really good reaper ult. There was no hacked up grapples. But I will say that was an awesome bingo. I hope everybody enjoyed that bingo card. That was a fun one. Uh, if you want to submit a bingo or a video for the bingo card, you got to join my Discord for that. It's a VOD reviews channel. You do fill out all the information. We might do that one. Um, obviously, if you like this video, it's up to the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we uh, you can obviously we record them. We usually record these live on Mondays. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, that is that bingo card. That was a fun one.